Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Jaylee Vlogs. Today I am going to show you how to contour your face, especially if you have a round face like mine and you would like to add some structure to it so, and make it look more defined. Um, you can continue on watching to see how I apply contouring on a round face. Now, if you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video. So let's get started. For this look, I am going to use the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick to contour my face and a unique brush with the round tip and side angle brush to blend my contouring in. To start, I will introduce the products that I have for this contouring segment. Here, I am going to use the Fenty Beauty Contouring Stick by Rihanna in the shade of Truffle. Before buying this contouring stick, I had gone to Sephora and spoke to a makeup person in there for them to find the exact shade for me. It's recommended that you do that because you don't want to buy a contouring stick and come home and try it and it doesn't match your skin. So your best bet is to ask a makeup person in Sephora first before going home and applying the contour touring cream on your face. I love the packaging. It's made so easy to use. I mean, if you're into the powder, the powder works well and it makes it look like it's natural. But with this, it's more of a cream finish. And um, you've probably seen contouring cream in a palette. Um, with all different shades but this one is made simple just in one shade for you to apply onto your face and if you have never used a contour and cream stick i will show you how to appropriately apply this on your face so the first thing is when you open it the cap it looks like this and then you can spin it up and it's really easy to use so just focus on what i'm doing for you to get that contoured look. Before contouring and applying the cream, you should make a kissy face like that. So that way your cheekbones can pop out to see where the defined lines would be to contour. Okay. Since my face is already round, I want everything to go in and focus on my eyes, nose, and lips. You will see how big of a difference it will be when I go in with my unique brush to blend this out. What I love about this brush is it has a round tip on the inside and then an angled brush to blend out on the outside. I think this is the most perfect contouring brush you can get right now. And where can you get a contour brush like this? You can get it at Walmart. I've seen it so there before. I haven't seen a brush like this sold at Sephora, but I could be wrong. Um, I got this at a local department store. Um, nothing really special about this brush. It's not brand named or anything, but it works very good for me when I contour. If you don't have this special contouring brush, that's okay. You can still use the contouring stick and apply your contouring with a different brush like this, okay? Um, I like the double-sided bristle because I can use one side for contouring and one side for highlighting. So it just works better for me when there's two options on a brush. I am going to start first with the round tip and blending the contouring in. Make sure to continue making that kissy face. Make sure that you are blending out all of the dark color within the contour. Oh, I think it just broke. 
because that's how much I really use it. And inside there's also an angle brush to do my eyebrows. So this is actually a three brush in one. See how big of a difference this is over here right now and how blended it is with this side over here that's not contoured yet. And I can see that the contour cream is still there. So I'm going to blend it out a little bit more with my angled brush. I'm going to snap this back in. And since the bottom of my brush broke, I'll just have to work with whatever I have until I get another one. But I've been using this brush for the last two years, guys. It's not as fragile as you think it is. Keep on blending it out until it looks very natural. So now that my face is all contoured and blended out, I am going to now contour my nose. For this, I am still going to use the Fenty Beauty contouring stick in the same shade. To get some color off a little bit on the brush and because I am a perfectionist, I don't want to just go in with the contouring cream onto my nose and just drag it and I don't know if it's going to hit the sides of my nose. So I am a perfectionist and I'm just going to go in with a stern brush to get some color off the contour stick to place it on top of my nose, um, to blend it out on my nose. Okay. I am going to take the other side of the brush to blend this out. You can also get this brush at Walmart or you can use two different brush. One to take the color out of the contouring stick and one to um, blend the color out. Make sure when you're blending the color out, do not go in the center because that is where the lightest point go. Make sure you are blending the color out carefully so it's, it doesn't look like you painted your nose. In order for contour to look natural, everything has to be evenly blended out. So make sure that you are really, really blending the contour cream out. Now that I feel that my face is fairly well blended out, I am going to apply blush. The blush that I am using is from MAC. The color is Sincere. Yes, you can apply it right over the contouring part.
after applying the blush, I am going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Palette. And the color that I'm going to use to highlight is Forever Lit. I'm going to highlight it on the top of my cheeks and in between my nose. Once the highlighting is done, I'm going to go in with my lip liner to fill my lips and add on some gloss. And if you like my gloss, it is from Revlon in the shade Supernatural. So contouring makes the face so much more beautiful. It intensifies the look a little bit more. I would recommend contouring your face after applying makeup because it will actually help blend the contouring cream out better than it would on your own skin and it will make it much more natural looking. Okay guys, so that is my contouring tutorial on round face. And if you like the tutorial and it was helpful for you, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time.